Assalamu alaikum everyone, my name is Kharif Al Harun and today I've got the LG G4 in leather. Oh yes, we're gonna try to make this video short and sweet. First of all, I'm gonna take you around the phone just to let you take a look at the phone itself and then we're gonna talk about some of the specifications um, that make this phone so special. Are you ready? Let's go. First of all, we can see that from the back we've got this nice leathery feeling. This phone comes in two variations. You can get the leather one or you can have this one that kind of looks like uh, it's kind of plasticky, like metal metallic kind of look to it. And um, I believe that the leather one, leather backing has is slightly more expensive. But the good news is if you decide to go for the cheaper version and then later on want to go ahead and buy your own backing later, you can do that if you want. Honestly, this leather, it feels so good. It really feels really nice to hold in the hand and I really do like it. We've, we're gonna, we usually we start from the front of the phone, but this time we're gonna start from the back only because you know this is so so cool. We've got that G4 that's been stamped on the bottom right. We've got the speaker on the back. By the way, I just want to say that I don't like it when you put the speaker on the back because when you're holding the phone, you're kind of blocking the speaker. However, it is so loud, loud enough so that it wasn't a major issue for me. Also on the back, you'll notice that we've got these buttons right over here. So you got the volume up, you got the volume down, then you got the power button. There are no buttons on either side of this phone. Yes, not even on the top, not and the, not even on the bottom. All you got is got the port. We'll talk about that in just a second. So it took actually my friends uh, quite a while to figure out how to turn the phone on until I finally said, guys, it's on the back. You might feel like this is a little bit unusual, however it isn't. Because when you're holding the phone uh, in your hand naturally, it actually only makes sense to push up and down and then touch that power button. So yes, it makes sense when you're holding the phone in your hand. We've also got the flash right over here. We've got a really great camera. We're gonna talk about the camera specs in just a minute. Um, and then we've got some sensors over here. This is a laser sensor. You guys are gonna love some of the really cool things that this phone can do. In the front, we've got, already we've got a couple of fingerprints, but we've got this nice massive screen. And uh, one of the things that I really liked about uh, the G3 was the fact that the front was practically all screen. We actually do have practically all screen as well <laughs> with the LG G4. It's a 5.5 inch screen as well. So something to look forward to. You've got your speakers, you've got your sensors, you've got your front-facing camera, which also, by the way, is pretty impressive. And then that's pretty much it. You don't have any buttons at the bottom. You've got those touch screen controls as well to look forward to. So that's, that's, that's the phone um, in a nutshell. I'm gonna show you some quick uh, close-up uh, snap, snapshots right now. So let me know what you think. I think that the phone looks really great in my opinion. But let's talk about some of the specs. First of all, the front-facing camera that I just recently talked about is actually 8 megapixels. This is fantastic, especially if you want to go ahead and take some great selfies. For all you selfie takers and all of you Instagram users, maybe this is a good option of a phone, especially since you've got that nice big screen that could help you to, uh, to, you know, to, to make sure that the photo that you're taking is the best photo possible. Um, also, we've got, the, this, as I mentioned, this great 5.5 inch screen, and it's got a good resolution as well, a great resolution, in fact, it's at 1440 by 2560 pixels at a pixel density of 538 ppi. By the way, that's the same as the LG G3, the version before that. Now, in regards to the overall size, in regards to height, it's 148.9 millimeters. In regards to the width, it's 76.1 millimeters. In regards to the thickness, this is where it's a little bit tricky, but the thinnest point is 6.3 millimeters. It is super thin. And then the thickest part of it, because it actually curves from the back, is 9.8 millimeters. But trust me, it actually feels so much thinner than that. It really feels really thin in the hand. You can tell that I really like the feeling of the phone just by my description. Um, what else do I really want to mention about this? Let's talk about the camera on the back. The camera is actually 16 megapixels, so you might feel like, hey, wait a minute, there are better cameras out there. But yes, we do have, you know, some image stabilization, optical image stabilization. But one of the things that make it really cool is this laser autofocus. This is probably one of the fastest autofocusing phones that I have managed to play with, and I really enjoy taking pictures of this. I mean, you're gonna see some of the shots where I am taking pictures of um, just general stuff. Maybe I'll take a picture of the, the cushion. Yes, taking the picture of the cushion. And um, 
the laser the laser cameras does a really great job. So I mean, if there's ever one reason to 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 you know to, to to buy this phone it would probably be for the fast autofocus and also the great selfie so as you can see that this is a really good phone for uh because it's thin because it's leather so it gives you some you know different feeling and because it's got a great camera one other thing that i wanted to mention this is one of the last phones from the big manufacturers you know if i'm just talking about you know just uh, samsung recently re removing the ability to remove the back um, from their samsung galaxy s6 phones but this is removable so for all of you people out there let me just quickly ah, remove that leather backing for all of you people out there that want to have a changeable battery for all of you people, you know, that uh, just like to have that option, yes, you can do that with the LG G4. And this is, by the way, where you put in your SIM card and your micro SD card. And I, I want to mention one thing. It kind of looks like it's going to be a little bit difficult to put it in and out without removing the battery. I don't like it when companies do that. So please, make it simple. Let me just pull it in and out from the side. Don't make me remove my battery. But then again, I haven't tried to remove it. I haven't tried to, 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 ins to, to insert a SIM card already into it uh, yet. So uh, maybe it's easier um, said and said. <laughs> so um, that's pretty much it. This is the phone in a nutshell. What do I think about it? I really think that it is a good phone. What do I think about the screen? I think that the screen is fantastic. What do I think about uh, the camera quality? I think the camera quality is really great. One of the things that I wish that the LG G4 had, which it honestly, you know, they should probably you know, add this feature, you know, uh, on most phones by now, is a fingerprint sensor so that we can, you know, have that added security and added ease of use. So guys, come on, give us a fingerprint sensor. You can put it over here. Um, and I hope you're not going to go and release it, the LG G4 Plus or something and then <laughs> in, in a couple of months and then make this phone obsolete. But yeah, in the future, I really do hope that uh, they, they add that functionality, that feature into the phone. So there you guys go. If you've got any questions, please don't forget to ask me in the comment section below. Thank you so much for all of the great feedback and all the great responses. I really appreciate all of the people who watch these videos and also gives me those, those thumbs up because it really keeps me going. And uh, again, I just really do appreciate it. If I do take a little bit of time to respond to um, uh, any of your questions I do forgive me please uh, but I really do do my best to respond as fast as possible um, that's pretty much it if you're interested in the LG G4 you can visit any Vodafone store or visit www.vodafone.qa take care